Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we are going to be talking about Streets of Rage. Yes! <laughs> this is a really awesome beat em up. I cannot stress how great of a game this is. One thing that just really tells me that this is going to be just a fun experience, or at least tells me that it's a, it's a game from the late 80s, early 90s, is a pretty cool background with a text uh, scroll on it. I don't know why I like this in video games. I just really like it. Especially since... It, I think when I started seeing these things, I couldn't read when I started playing them. But it just looks really cool. I love the way the city looks in this. I just love the fact that the story's pretty simple. And it feels a little bit more... It feels a little bit more like I'm watching a, watching like an action movie from the 80s or a sci-fi movie or something like that. It just, I don't know, it just feels right when I see something like this. This is one of those games that I kind of missed out on when it was first released and uh, none of my friends who owned a Genesis rented it, so I did not play it in the early 90s. When I started playing it was in the late 90s, early 2000s, when I started collecting retro games. It was one of those uh, series that I just really went out of my way to get. Uh, right up there with Golden Axe, uh, Alien Storm was another one, and the Fantasy Star series. This is one of those games that I think of whenever I think of the Sega Genesis. I'm sure everybody has something like that where, you know, someone says Nintendo or the NES or Super NES and they think of certain games. When I hear, uh, or when I think about the Sega Genesis, I think about stuff like Phantasy Star 4, I think about Sonic the Hedgehog, Toe Jam and Earl, and I think about Streets of Rage. It was just one of those things that stood out when uh, you compared it to the SNES. Mostly because this, I don't know, when this is a game that I would compare closely to like Final Fight. And I like, I like Streets of Rage more than Final Fight. That's not to take anything away from Final Fight, I just like this game more than that, more than Final Fight. And since I have to compare the console releases of them... Uh, the Final Fight console release on the SNES is is not that great, especially since you know they, it's only one player. It doesn't have all the characters, and they had to release a second version to get the character that they're missing into it. And yeah, it's that that Final Fight on <laughs> the first Final Fight on the SNES is not very good. Compare that to the compared that to Streets of Rage, it's a lot better than Final than that port of Final Fight. I can't com if I compare it to the arcade version, then I think they're they're pretty much equal, but their console releases are are vastly different. And that leads me to, to something that I think I knew, or at least I I found out and probably forgot and then remembered, but I always thought that this was in the arcades. And it wasn't. Uh, Streets of Rage was never an arcade game. You see, like, an arcade cabinet for Bare Knuckle, which was the Japanese release name, but you'll, you'll never find an actual Streets of Rage uh, arcade cabinet that was officially released. No idea why. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just one of those things where Sega probably thought, you know, they had enough beat-em-ups out there with Golden Axe and Alien Storm and some of the other stuff that they put out that I just haven't gotten around to yet. I think the thing that made me th believe that it was an arcade was that it's built, uh, I believe it's built with the Golden Axe engine, so you would think it, it would be pretty easy to port to an arcade. Also, 
Sega did a lot of stuff where they would just, um, where they were porting their uh, arcade games directly to their console because that was how they were going to like build up their library and that kind of stuff. Especially early on when they didn't have a lot of third-party developers and they would uh, go out of their way to license certain games. Like They would license Capcom games and just rebuild them from the ground up and release those as kind of original games, but not really. Well, not not always with original games. Uh, they they did that with a number of Capcom games, like Strider. Uh, they did it with Strider, they did it with uh, Forgotten Worlds, and they did it with Ghosts and Goblins. Or Ghouls and Goats. And... Yeah, it's Ghosts and Goblins. Sorry, I'm getting the games kind of confused in my head. Anyway, back to Streets of Rage. <laughs> this this is an amazing game. It is such a good beat 'em up. It works really well on the console. The music in it is great. Uh, the controls are awesome. All three of the characters are are really. I really love that you can pick up from those three characters. Uh, the weird part is uh, you fight dominatrixes. I don't like just flat out dominatrixes. I don't know what the plural for that would be. I don't know. I'm not too interested in finding out what the plural of that is. Anyway, it's a really amazing game. It was one of those things where I could sit down and play it with my friends when we got it. Uh, either doing two-player or, you know, we would trade off between the levels. I think we did that more of Streets of Rage 2, but we also did it with this one as well. And this is one of those games that I would... Uh, I wouldn't say I would make my friend who di- who didn't like the Genesis play it, but this was one that he he would enjoy playing because he was a big beat 'em up fan. He liked the the Jalico beat 'em ups and uh, also Final Fight, and he could play Streets of Rage and and have fun with it. So as we we get into my final thoughts here, uh, the Streets of Rage is such a great series. I'm glad that it's still going. Uh, with uh, Streets of Rage 4. The, there's just... It's one of those franchises that I think of when I think of Sega and I think of the Sega Genesis. I have a lot of fun memories of trying to find all three of them when I was younger. It seems so much easier to find games when I when I was in high school. I don't know why, but it seemed like it was just so much easier to find them. The prices were way cheaper and it was just more of an experience of tracking stuff down and finding it. If you don't want to try to find this one to add to your collection, then you know definitely play Streets of Rage 4. That, that will give you the exact same experience. It's an amazing game. It's a wonderful beat-em-up. It's, it's just as good as the first one. I'm sure some people will disagree with me, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap things up. Uh, Let me know what you think in the comments below, and have a great day, everybody. Bye.